This is utterly ridiculous! I can't believe I have to meet with the Council! Rawl, darling. What did you think was going to happen when you were next in line for the throne? That I would be able to kill all my problems! Now my problems are going to kill me! Darling, it's just a meeting. You're clearly overreacting. No, not that! Ash! He still isn't back yet! It's been months! He, he still isn't back yet? No, he's not! Prince Rawl, Lady Bish, pardon my intrusion. I hope I didn't ruin any moment you two may be having. He's been whispering sweet nothings to me. I swear! This better not be about that meeting! Uh, um, f funny you should mention that. Rawl. What? Go to your meeting. I hate this so much! Ah, she's dead! This truly concerns me. Ash has been gone for an uncomfortable amount of time. If he isn't back in time for Rawl's coronation, Rawl may have to take Ash's place, which means the crown will fall to another. Oh, you're back, my darling. What's this? This is magic residue. It's rather old based on the smell, but it's rather potent for being old. Which means it was cast by someone with a good quantity of magic. Show me where you found this. Quite the mystery indeed. Well, well, if it isn't my daughter who married her way into my family. Lady Grandma. What are you doing in my ritual room, Lady Bish? Forgive me, Lady Grandma. However, I could sense a strong presence of magic had been used here. Sense? <laughs> you smelled it! I forget your unique gift you have with that nose you stick into everyone's business. Hmm? I couldn't help it. It just concerned me, so... By the way, why was there such an amount of magic used here? Seems rather odd, especially with Ash's disappearance as of late. I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me. I have been experimenting with magic and potions in order to make myself young again. Once Pierce sees my young, beautiful self, he won't be able to resist me. Oh, come on! You heard stories about Deimos from all over the land fought over me. Of course, <clears throat> Lady Grandma. I am willing to let you go this time, so long as you promise to not work with magic that way again. You know very well magic is becoming scarce. I'd hate to report you to the Council for such misuse of it. Ooh, right. I almost forget about the magic crisis. <laughs> when you get to my age, your mind doesn't work as well as it used to. Understandable, Lady Grandma. By the way, you said Ash was out on a self-journey. Pray tell where he may be. Hmm? Rod is worried Ash won't be back in time. Do you perhaps think that Ash is abandoning his duties for the greater good? 
Ash isn't needed right now. If you were in Ash's situation, you would probably want to see the world too before everything came to an end. Ash is needed when his time is ready. He'll be back when the time is right, I can assure you. Fine. You seem keen on letting Ash have his time away from the kingdom. Let's hope your frail mind doesn't forget when the time comes. Oh, trust me, I won't forget. Wench. <sighs> At least I bought them some time. That woman won't give up that easily. I'm not an idiot. I know that old hag is smarter than she lets on, and I know she's hiding something. Come, we have work to do. Oh, good. You're awake. No, I'm not. But you're talking. Just what do you want? Remember your promise to take us out when the sun rises. Is that it? I have one more important thing to tell you. Remember to let the other Deimos eat ice cream as well. It's important for our research. Is that just an excuse for you to eat ice cream? Yes. I'm going back to sleep. Don't forget! What the f fudge are you doing?! Trying to get the leaf in your magic slab out to show him who's superior! Why are you guys so dumb? Stop punching my phone! Make me! Uh, what is that supposed to do? Make you not want to grab it from my boobs because you respect my boundaries? I respect nothing! It's behind my source of power! Touch it and you die! <laughs> You know, I respect that you put death in all of your spells. Makes me respect you. Wait, you just said... Watch your back, sorcerer Ava. God, he's stupid. What are you doing? Do you think humans will think I'm a threat? Uh, to their personal space, yeah. What does that mean? That means you're uncomfortably close to me right now, and if I didn't know you, I'd be very scared. <gasps> really? Yes. Good! <laughs> Thanks for the advice, Ava! Jesus, thank you for the hot demon boys. Why did you have to make them so freaking stupid and interrupting my sleep? <sighs> what are you doing? Don't try to stop me! Leaf told me where you hid your phone, so I'm destroying all of your- Okay, don't care, want sleep. She fainted at the sight of my deed. <laughs> I'll take these all and destroy them. The sun has risen. I haven't gotten any sleep. But you said you would take us out. I can't do
do that without sleep. It's how I get my energy. That explains why you are strong. You sleep a lot. Sleep. I can't. I've been woken up so much. I can't focus on sleeping. You don't have to thank you for, for you kindness. That's one thing about you. You demos lack kindness. Maybe not now, but in time you'll realize your mistakes. You'll all turn on each other. And what happened to us will happen to you. Pierce, why have you not brought the human to us? She needs sleep. She's our prisoner, Pierce! You had a direct order. I can bring her now. No, I'm already here. Now wake her up, or I'll wake her. I'll do it. Pierce has been acting odd as well. What's going on? It's time for you to dress me. Uh-huh, huh? huh? W what is this? You said yesterday you'd help them put on their human clothes. W wait, wait, I, I, I didn't mean that literally- Too late. Dress me. Wait! Dress me! Corner her ass! Why is she acting afraid? Perhaps because she did not sleep. Human! <coughs> you said! <coughs> Dress me! <coughs> Use your magic! I can't believe I dressed a grown man. Wow, these clothes are light! They feel like clothes a Deimos peasant would wear. I don't like them. Rightfully so. These clothes aren't fit for our kind. You know, I'm right here, and maybe you guys can just appreciate free clothes, okay? Why didn't you dress us fully? I put on your shirts and jackets and showed you how to do the rest. I'm not going below the waist. I would like to avoid seeing a guy's lower region in person until I decide to, uh, uh, ne never mind. What are you doing? Mrs. Oates asked me to make some PB&Js for her, and I thought I might as well pack a lunch for us since I'm taking you guys out, and I don't have any money. Are you Mrs. Oates' pupil? You seem to do a lot of tasks for her. No, I'm her neighbor, and she also pays me a bit of money for helping her out, and since I don't have a job, I do what I can. Plus, I like Mrs. Oates, even if she shared things with me that recently I don't want to know. Are we leaving yet? I grow impatient as well. Where are we going? Long ago, before the reign of the internet, humans would go outside and enjoy the sun. The sun of our world gives us vitamin D, which gives us nutrients we need to be more powerful. Today, I will be taking you to the ancient ruins of the park, a place where my parents would take me when I was younger to experience the world. <gasps> ancient? Yes, but they are mere ruins now, as humans rarely visit them. Because of the internet. What's that? That will be a topic for another day. I'd like to introduce you to Earth slowly. Now, you guys will need to hide your horns. Once you've done that, meet me outside. I'm gonna go give Mrs. Oatsy sandwiches I made for her. Oh, I 
Ava, good to see you. Hey, Mrs. Oates. Oh, hey, Mrs. Bell. Hello. Are you guys having your book club or something? <laughs> Please, darling. We're not that boring. We're meeting to plan our crochet club. Far less boring. Oh, yeah, totally. I get that life. Anyway, here are the sandwiches you asked me for. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Ava. And here, a little extra today so you can take all your handsome boy toys out. Mrs. Oates, please. Ooh, you should bring them over sometime. Mrs. Oates told me all about them. She did? Yes, we heard all the screaming this morning, too. Hey, let's get moving. Woo! You are right. They are handsome. <laughs> Where are you all going? To the park to give Ava the vitamin D. Oh, my! I swear to God, I... Ava's going to absorb it to become more powerful. We're leaving. Have a good day, Ms. Oates. Mrs. Bell. Lucky girl, you should ask her to fix your camera so you can get pictures of those handsome men. Oh, good idea. Why is she so red? <laughs> I don't know, but I like her like that. I'm red because I just realized you guys take everything literally. Do you guys not have like a learning school or communicate with others on a logical level? School? Oh. I didn't realize you would ask us about our culture. Hmm. Well, learning isn't a primary concern on Deimos. Most learning is about magic and fighting, since it's our primary way of survival. Teaching is a luxury only certain Deimos get to be in. Interesting. Okay then, I'm going to teach you guys some manners. First, form a line. Noi, you get to be the line leader. <laughs> Me? The leader? Hey, why is Noi the line leader? I agree, it should be me! No one is going to be the line leader if you keep arguing! How can there not be a leader? Noi is the lowest ranking among us, so you can see why it's an insult. My line, my rules! Now, we're going to go to the park, and everyone is going to listen to me! Sheesh! Thank God no one goes to the park these days. Why are there so many people here at the park?! Uh, this isn't good. All right, everyone stick close and... Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm looking for the vitamin D. what I said! Oh, right. <laughs> Whatever. Pushing down these trash cans is fun. Look at the horror it causes on the humans' faces. Leave this way! <laughs> you can't drag me! Just follow! See this? It's a magical barrier, much like my Crayola magic. If you leave it without my permission, you die. <sighs> I hate this, but I do enjoy the thrill of my life being in danger. <laughs> I see. The ice cream man brings you these? May I have that ice cream then? Uh, sure. You just gotta pay me for it. But I don't have any. Keep the change! You can't just take things from kids or bribe them. I'll teach you more about that later. Show us this sacred dance you speak of. Sacred? <laughs> You're weird AF, mister. It's popular. Yeah, and it goes like this. My eyes couldn't keep up. 
forget what you saw, and I better not catch you two doing that in my house. <laughs> she caught you guys too. <sighs> okay, here. You guys can eat the sandwiches, and I got you guys the milk boxes. You guys just stay here and drink your milk and wait. One, two, three, four. Where is Pierce? Oh no, I have to find him. Stay here and remember, if you leave, you die. I hate this. Fascinating. Oh, <laughs> Eva. Tell your dad I'm voting for him. I'm sure he'll appreciate that, Mr. Green. <laughs> Pierce? What are you doing? Watching them play in war. For the last time, it's chess. Oh, whatever. I guess you don't need to be that smart when you look that good. <laughs> oh, I miss my youth. Wait, you know this young man, Ava? Oh, wait. Is this your boyfriend? I'm a man. What is a man? <laughs> Careful, your senile is showing. At this point, it's just a free show. Also, Ava, uh, do your parents know? He's just a friend, and we're going now! <laughs> Come on, Pierce. See you later, Mr. Green, Mr. Dracula. Pierce, why did you wander off? I was going to help contain the others, but I got distracted. It's... it's fine. Are you angry with me? I am, but at the same time, I'm just glad I wrangled everyone else up. They're all not causing problems for me right now, and that's what counts. Do you care for us? Huh? Do you care for us? Even though we're... Deimos. Uh odd thing to throw at me, but uh, I mean, I guess I never really questioned that. <laughs> I mean, I don't care for many people, so what makes you think I care for you guys? <laughs> Why do you keep us with you, then? Deimos don't normally tolerate those who cannot benefit them in some way. Why do you keep us? You know, for a guy who's normally quiet, you talk some really heavy words. <laughs> and besides, I don't keep you guys. I mean, you guys took me in as your prisoners, so I have no choice but to, but to keep y'all. <laughs> I mean, why do you guys keep me? Because you benefit us. See? There you go! That's my reason, too! <laughs> I just thought humans thought deeper than that. I, I do. I just... I just do a lot of thinking alone is all. <laughs> I, I don't get along with many people, so... <laughs> uh... <gasps> the others! My friend almost forgot we gotta go! My father tells me humans will kill us all, if they know what they are truly capable of. Let's hope they never find that out. Until then, we make as much use of them for the war as we can. How did you figure out the box, Leaf? I stabbed it. Ah! Oh, you guys are all still alive and not causing problems, all right. Come on, we gotta go home. What? Why? Because Mr. Green is here and he's a huge supporter of my dad's campaign. And if he sees me with you guys, that will just, uh, uh just, 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 just trust me. I'll bring you guys out again tomorrow, okay? Come on. Look, I just lifted the crystal of the blanket. Let's go. Whee!